I figured there might be a chance that uh, I get it. So it rolled in right around 4 a.m. It's uh, 2021.36.5.2, which is the FSD Beta 10.3. This is my first chance to try out FSD Beta. So here's the release notes. Quite a bit of improvements, and this is uh, appears to be the first time that they've provided a lot of detail on what's been improved. So this is awesome. This is gonna be my first test drive, so I'm gonna get to test it on my way home and let all of you experience it at the same time I do. So first up, we're gonna to have to enable it. So we'll go to autopilot here, full self-driving beta, and then we'll read through the agreement here. Uh, you of course can pause and read it. Do you wanna enable FSD while it's in limited beta? Yes, I do. And I think I will actually be selecting chill as well that's that's great i this is brand new um i have not seen this be before let's try chill because i've never actually tried fsd beta before so that's awesome i'm glad to see that all right let's give this a try all right let's uh let's give it a try from right here so creeping forward. I can see that it's clear. Oh, I'm gonna turn it off here because we've got an ambulance coming in. All right, so won't count that as a disengagement because, okay, let's see. In 500 feet, turn left onto Sherwood Hall Lane. Now turn left onto Sherwood Hall Lane. Right, so it's kind of right, it's creeping forward a little bit. Wow, that's uh, kind of surprising how quick it accelerates. I'm gonna go ahead and slow this down to the actual speed limit. I probably should have adjusted that. In fact, I might go a little slower than the speed limit because I'm a little nervous about using this the first time. It's a little bit more comfortable. Turn left onto Richmond Highway. All right, so we'll see what it does here for this turn. Now turn left onto Richmond Highway. This lane is both turn and straight. It seems to have stopped pretty far from the intersection. I don't know why I did that. Yeah, I wonder if I can bump it up a little bit. There it goes. That's kind of half in one lane and half in, well, mostly in the, oh, that seemed like it was about to go. Let's see if, no, all right. I don't know if it's just creeping up and it's gonna stop, but it kind of felt like it was gonna go, so. Ah, uh, expand full vi visualization, there we go. So there was an option to actually expand the visualization to the whole screen. So that should fix that. All right, get over here in the center lane and we'll turn it back on. Yeah, that's that's it. There we go. The uh, acceleration is definitely something to get used to uh, when you're using the previous version with the stoplight, stop sign, update, it would accelerate very slowly. So this is completely different, it's something to get used to. Really digging the full screen display and how much info is shown on this. Picking up all these cars on this side street. It's crazy. And we've got some 
warning yellow flashing. Oof, man, this road sucks. That went straight through. There, that, it's adjusting the suspension up to make it more comfortable, which is nice because this road is terrible. Another new feature that came along at some point uh, is that if you have air suspension, if it detects a uh, bad road, it will actually raise the suspension a little bit to make it more comfortable. Yeah, the acceleration is definitely much better now. be able to do okay with the lines disappearing and reappearing and these little sticker things that they put on the road before they uh, before they paint them lines completely disappearing here I have a little trouble with this is because I don't know where the lines are but it's doing just fine Wow that's uh, it's amazing that it's able to detect exactly where it is with zero lines. So I would imagine at some point it's going to switch to navigate on autopilot. Interesting that uh, navigate on autopilot would have already turned on at this point uh, for the previous version of the software. So let's see how it does here, getting onto the highway. Not too bad, it didn't swing out too far on, uh... all right, that's good, so it's switched over, it's doing another lane change, that's good, got away from the cones. Too fast, so I'm gonna slow it down, or at least a little too fast for my comfort. Now keep right. and, uh, 500 feet, turn right onto Gideon Drive. Okay. Yep, I'd take over there because it was not quite sure where it was going. Now turn right onto Gideon Drive. Does here for this yield. It is okay. That was not great. That was not great. Yeah, 
okay kind of turn sharp left and turn sharp right it's okay though there were no cars around and i'm paying attention to everything that's around me all right in 500 feet turn left onto roll away Go ahead and go full speed there. Let's see if it makes it through this intersection here. Now turn left onto roll away. Seems a little confused on what it should do. Oh, powering through that corner. <laughs> now turn left onto Potomac Mill Circle. I don't think a left would be necessary. Since the superchargers are on the right here, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, two lanes here. Now your destination is on the right. Yeah, I think that there's some bad data on where the superchargers actually are here. All right, let's get back on the highway. See how that does. So we'll navigate to the supercharger in Fredericksburg. Now turn right onto Potomac Mill Circle. Okay, see how it does from this mall kind of uh, parking lot side road. See how it does here at this now stop sign. Now turn right onto Garza Way. There it goes. Yeah, you make it. There you go. There you go. You got it. Nope. It's now turn left onto Smoketown Road. Yeah. I'm gonna there are no cars here, so I'm gonna back up a little bit so I can get into the correct lane here. It was not in the turn lane. So I'll give that a try, see if we can turn it back on here. Okay, looks like it'll go from here. All right, it's all clear. Yeah, not bad there for that turn. In 500 feet, turn right onto Gideon Drive. Yeah, there's a lot of lanes to get over. Gotta get over one more. Now turn right onto Gideon Drive. And then take this kind of side corner area. Should have kept its turn signal on there the whole time, but not too bad. Okay, now down here, there are two options for turning left. So we'll see what it decides to do here. Now turn left onto Dale Boulevard. keep into the outside lane which is actually the correct one to be in because we're gonna to have to make a right turn on to I-95 all right looking good so far Let's see how it does in this corner it did go to the correct lane in 500 feet, even though the lines weren't good there yeah, the acceleration is pretty aggressive. I'm surprised. Now taking the correct lane here. Uh, yeah, slowing down pretty aggressively there. Should have slowed down before that. Not terrible, but not great. About at this point, it would switch over to navigate on autopilot for a regular, or for the legacy autopilot. So we'll see what it does here. Imagine we'll switch over to navigate on autopilot here in a second. That was good. That was actually very, very good. That was probably one of the best highway merges I've had yet. So that was very good.
All right, I think that'll do it for this video. Um, going to go home and get a few hours of sleep, and then uh, we'll do a test loop. So we'll do country roads and twisty roads. Uh, obviously with highway, it, uh, it's not using single stack yet, so I wouldn't expect much difference there. We might give that a try just to see what uh, what's different. Imagine we're going to have to do some... Uh, I, We'll have to do a, uh, a neighborhood course uh, to see how it does there, since I'm sure it will ace uh, at least country roads. We'll see how twisty roads goes. Okay, well, uh, appreciate you all coming on the first drive with me. This is super exciting. I've been waiting for this for ages. Uh, I hope uh, all, of, uh, all of you that got a 99% on your safety score are also getting the FSD beta and can give it a try. Be safe, be in control, uh, always monitor it. And uh, for those of you who are still waiting, I hope you get it soon. And uh, hopefully some of these videos will help tide you over until you're able to get it. All right, take care. Thanks for watching.